Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Bama, Bama, Bama. Here we go, here we go. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Paris Campbell from 10 yards out. And the Giants have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. But hang on now, though. There's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, in such a high-stakes scenario, everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. Escaping the pressure right. That is intercepted. Picked off by Bobby Okereke. And the Giants will take over here just shy of the 30. Partner, have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. Keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. To throw is Jones. Catch made by Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now Jones. To Barkley on the check down. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Here's a second and seven. Jones. He finds him again, Saquon Barkley. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding where they are on the field? Jones. That's complete to Jalen Hyatt. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. Flushed out right. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Another try, second and ten now. Here's Jones. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. Now Jones. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Here it is, fourth and inches. They'll run with Barkley. 
And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Jones. Buying time to his left. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they made sure they bled the clock out as well. And he won't be able to get the football away. He's going to be sacked. So they're unable to add on to their lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Left side, here's Dell. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. One final shot for C.J. Stroud. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That was a long shot.